Change Rape Shack for a Thursday football in focus. Max Maynard with us. So we just talked to C.J. Freeman about some of these underrated players that kind of fly under the radar. Max Maynard one of those. Max having a good year and a solid season. Took that loss against Eastern Alamance. I know that cut to the chin a little bit there, but uh, how did you guys bounce back after that loss? Uh, we just knew that, that this whole season is going to be really we're going to go through a lot of adversity and that's what Coach Roscoe always talked about. And uh, I think we really bounced back and uh, we're going to have a good game tomorrow tonight against Eastern Guilford and yeah, it should be a good one. Talk about your role in that game tomorrow night. What's your role going to be? Uh, we just got to keep getting the stops. And uh, against Eastern Alamance, we didn't we didn't do a really good job getting a lot of stops because they kept running up the middle and we couldn't get that quarterback. Get I thought see you about that quarterback. I didn't know that much about him. I started a little bit a little bit of research on this guy, John Lamont. Yeah. Tough kid. He's only a junior. Yeah, he's only a junior, and uh, he's he's really fast. And uh, he set the tone early on the second play of the game, and we really. I mean, there are some drives that we can, you can tell we're starting to get into a little bit of a rhythm, but we never really got into a solid, you know, getting them stops, getting them off the field where he isn't as explosive. Set us up where you're at on defense. Where you at on defense? I play corner. Yeah. Cornerback. And you're coming up a lot probably too, right? You probably don't like to lay back, wait for the ball to come. You like to come yeah, get it. Yeah, oh, yeah. I come up a lot. And, and like in the Eastern Alamance loss, I was coming up too much because the linebackers were missing some tackles. And it, it was just as a whole – the defense as a whole, we weren't playing as well as we know we can play, so I think that was, that was really part of it. What do you see the charge and the challenge, the challenge and the charge being about Eastern Guilford? What do you see in them? Uh, they're probably going to see the Eastern Alamance film and think, well, we can really uh, – Jerry, Jerry's Moorhead, he can probably, he's probably thinking that he can run up the middle on us, and uh, we gotta, we got to really stop him early so that he knows that, we can't, that he can't run on us. And they kind of give you a different look, too, because not only Jerry us, but also Addison Benton, yeah. they kind of rotate those quarterbacks a little bit, and so that kind of – something to be aware of too and to make those changes and sometimes that's a good thing when you're rotating quarterbacks that things are going good if your team's out of rhythm though sometimes that can throw you off as well uh, what about adjusting to those changes they make uh, we're just going to be ready for them to throw everything at us because uh, it's a big game for us we're both, we're both six and one and they haven't lost in the conference yet and we have so we need to give them their first loss and uh, yeah how do you avoid getting too overhyped, too charged up? Uh, we just got to know our business. Have you had any hush puppies yet? I have not. Try one. This is a big event here at Shane's Rib Shack. Max Maynard on the hush puppy. And I think he can probably give us maybe a, a critique maybe on this hush puppy. How does this maybe taste? Oh, there's no critique on it. <laughs> it's all good, right? Oh, yeah. All good all the way through. If you enjoy some of those hush puppies, I'll hit you with a few more questions. Let's get to our question list of the week. Who was your first football coach ever? You remember back when you first started playing? My first football coach. Uh, I think it had to be Coach Hawkins in middle school. Middle school in at, at, eighth uh, grade, yeah. Would that be over at Northern? Yes. Gotcha. Back in the eighth grade. How good was your middle school team? We were pretty, we were, pretty, we were okay because we had CJ on the team. And yeah, I'd say for, because we were only about 14, 13 years old. Yeah, I, I think we were pretty good for middle school team. Other than football, what's your favorite sport? Track and basketball. You play basketball too? Yes, sir. Okay, so you're part of the regular routine with Coach Chambers then? Yeah. How's the basketball? I hate to jump off uh, one sport, but how's the basketball team going to be looking for this year? I think we're going to be all right. The one kid you guys had, the Curry kid, did he graduate? Yes. He moved on to college, I guess. Then. Mm -hmm. What about the other kid? He had another kid that kind of ran with him in that same offense last year. Talking about other kid. I think Curry was number 25. You're number 25. Well, he might have been 25 in basketball. These 25s are flying by me. But there were two kids, your two top scorers last year. Dre, was it Dre McCain? It was McCain, yes. Yeah, Dre. Dre McCain. Dre Is he also good. gone? Yeah, Dre was a senior last year. So you guys lost a chunk of your offense on basketball. Ball. How will the basketball team look this year? I think we're going to be real good because we got a lot of youth and we got a, we got a lot of athleticism, I think, to really be You still got the young, team. tall guys on the inside? Hey, yeah, you got some inside last year. Yeah, I'm very tall. How about the Hildreth kid? Is he back, Hildreth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam's a senior this year. So you got a good look, and you'll be playing a guard spot, I guess. Yes. And you maybe start with basketball this year? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to start for the first couple games, like when football's over, but right. we'll see. Any, you said you do track also? Yes, I've run uh, hurdles and track. Were you part of the championship team? Because you guys won a title a year or so back, didn't I you? I was a freshman that year, and I, I wasn't on the team that year. But uh, last year, and then I guess this is your senior year or junior year? It's my junior year. Junior year. So you got another year after this one then. Yes, sir. You played quite a bit as a sophomore even too, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So that experience is probably good for you as well. Oh, yeah, it was real good. How do you see this year's team being as opposed maybe to some of the championship teams you guys had a few years back? I mean, you're kind of younger looking back at those days as opposed to now, but uh, how do you see this year's team being when you kind of stack up those titles and they won three in a row? Is this a championship caliber team, do you think? I think I really think we are because we haven't really played to our potential. Everyone on the team knows that, and when we do play to that potential, then not a lot of teams can beat us, I think. 
What do you have to describe these guys? Give me your impressions of Luke Reynolds. What kind of player is Luke Reynolds? Uh, he's just explosive, fast. You can tell that other coaches are like worried about him because they really form around him. And that really opens up underrated players like me or uh, Tucker Hoard is another one. And Kamari Bonds, you know, we're always open because they're always paying so much attention to Luke. So. What about uh, Cam Harris? Describe Cam for us. Cam is a great, he's a great leader on the field. He knows where everybody should line up and he knows the weaknesses of the defense. And uh, he's, he's got a great arm. And he, he, he and on defense too, he can really get stops. How about Cam's shoes versus Luke's shoes? I think, uh, I think Cam holds a little bit more because he knows what it's like to get to the top and, you know, win all those championships, and he knows what it takes. So, I mean, Mook, Mook does too, but right. I think as a, at a leadership standpoint, I think Cam's a little bit. And you look Cam's at the shoes more. again too. Now, is Cam a little bit of a green on his, and uh, Mook has the red sometimes? I try to tell these guys different uh, because one's five, one's six. Sometimes they're flying by so fast. Yeah. You, one has a little green. I think it may be Cam, and maybe Mook has a little bit of red on his shoes. Is that right? Yeah. I think that's how the shoes work, yeah. Uh, thinking about some other things with us, Max Mater from the Northern Gilbert Nighthawks. Who's the best teacher you've ever had? The best teacher I've ever had? Probably my uh, chemistry teacher in sophomore year, Mr. Codine. Wow. Yeah, that's my favorite teacher. Doing chemistry in his sophomore year. What are you taking this year? I'm taking AP chemistry this year. So you're moving up a ladder, too. Yeah. What are you going to do when you get out of high school, do you think? Uh, I want to be a research chemist when I go to college. See you still 25 years from now somewhere in the chemistry yeah, field? Yeah, definitely. It's been, it's been good to you then, huh? Oh, yeah, I love it. Know every symbol on that whole 106 symbol I chart? About, I don't know about all that. I think it's 106 <laughs> symbols. I think maybe back to the day. Uh, the team you want to play for in college, you must have some goals there somewhere. Uh, I'd love to go to Stanford. Wow. Out of California. That's yeah. some good ambition. I like that. Yeah. So you'd head way out to the West Coast. Yeah, I want to see what it's like. Get a degree from Stanford, though, to be pretty well. Yeah. Pretty strong there. Uh, here's a question for you in the political realm. I asked this of our referee who was here earlier. That was uh, back in the Keep Round Day. Kay Hagen or Tom Tillis, they both show up at your door, knock on your family door at the same time. Who do you let in first, Kay Hagen or Tom Tillis? Well, my parents are probably going to kick Tom Tillis out and let Kay Hagen come in. So. Kay would come in, so you got to go with your parents, right? Yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta look, I'm looking at the. I'm going to look at uh, Max first. You got a little bit of PJ Harrison look to you. <laughs> you got a little bit of PJ basketball in your blood. What do you think? Yeah, I get that a lot. You'd be surprised. Do you really get that? Yeah, I get that all the time. I'm not doing too bad at picking up things. I'm, I'm hanging in. I, you do get that probably a lot. Yeah, in the that kind of a lot. leaner version. Because he was yeah. leaner when he was younger. They had that same look. Then he kind of filled out as he got older. Uh, games this week. Let me give these games. I know you probably got to get rolling too here soon. Uh, what about the game with Ashbrook Southern Gilford, Reggie Gillespie? Big night for them, maybe. Yeah, I think. So, yeah, I don't think I don't see them losing really in the regular season. That's a good call because it's starting yeah. to get that time of the year where you start to think they played eight games. Will they lose a game? Yeah, I don't think they will. And maybe see them in the playoffs somewhere, possibly. May I don't know if they're gonna sit him, but I don't think I don't think they're gonna lose the game. As long as Reggie's getting the ball, I don't think. How about uh, looking at Northwest and High Point Central? That's gonna be a good game. That should be a real good game. I think uh, I think Northwest is pretty underrated, but uh, Jamil Jamil Mack, the quarterback for High Point, is I mean he's a great player too. So that's gonna be a real that's gonna be a real close game. Since you're coming up with a lot of good answers, let me give you this question. If you had to pick CJ's a junior, so we won't include yeah. CJ here right now. Let's include these two seniors. Who would you award the Player of the Year to? In Guilford County between Reggie Gillespie and Jamel Mack. Well, I think it's got. I think I got to go with Reggie because he just. I mean, he's putting up 300 yards a week on people that have on teams that have good defenses, and he's scoring all their points. So I mean, I think it's got to go with Reggie. So the focus defensively, you can see that being all over him. Yeah. A few more questions here for Max Mater, number 25 for the Northern Guilford Nighthawks. What about Notre Dame at Florida State on Saturday? I think Notre Dame's going to go. Upset. Yeah, I think Notre Number Dame's one's going. going down then. Yeah, number one's going down. Gotcha. What about the Panthers at the Packers? I'm a big Panthers fan, but I don't think they can beat the Packers. Aaron Rodgers is too good. He is good, plus beating Green Bay. That's got to be worth maybe 10, well, maybe 7 points for the Packers going to the game. Can't say 10. 10 is probably too much. And the pros, got to be worth about 7. It's got to be worth a touchdown going to that game. Yeah. Max is with us. Big game against Eastern Guilford. Again, kind of summing up for us. What do you got to do to make sure you guys beat Eastern Guilford tomorrow night? Uh, we got to come out, set the tone early on defense and on offense. And, you know, we just got to play. We just got to fly around and have fun. And what's your role going to be again? We got to make sure they can't pass the ball, and we got to make sure that their offense isn't on the field a lot. When you go into that game, are you looking, I need to get X amount of receptions, I need to do this, I need to do that yourself? No, I'm Any just thinking about goals? anything, anything that I can help to, to do to make my team better. And you feel like this Northern team has room to keep getting better? Oh, yeah, of course. No. Probably feel like we better get better if we want to go ahead and finish off what your goals <laughs> and ambitions are, sure. Yes, sir. Max, good to meet you. Nice keep you up too. the good work, and uh, maybe you'll turn out to be a, you'll even exceed P.J. Harrison's look one day. <laughs>
Thank oh, you yeah. so much. Thank you. Change anybody else back there left that wants to do a little interview time? Uh, are we all clearing out? Yeah, I think we're about to clear out. Gotcha. Keep up the good work. Good to Thank see you. you.